just about to get started and then <laughs> oh <laughs> Lanix thanks so much for the sub <laughs> that's a great way to start the stream welcome welcome uh, you may or may not know but uh, people who sub to the channel get their very own sub story so if you want to throw three words at me I'll write you a, a quick sub story before we even get started how about that um, Anyway, so uh, we're here, uh, Sunday night stream, as a way to relax before the, the week starts. Um, looks like I am going to be able to do some streaming this week, Monday through Friday, starting at 6.30 Eastern, doing some co-working. Um, and then uh, on the weekends, we'll see, we'll see what we have available. Um, so yeah. Um, and... Again, thank you very much for the sub. That's a great way to start things off. It's uh, been a long week and uh, looking forward to having a better week ahead of me. And right now I'm just giving some pets to the pup who is hiding behind the chair. There you are. Hello, Buttons. Yes, hello. Okay, yeah, you're you're just not really being in the camera here. <clears throat> anyway, so um, didn't get a whole lot done this week in terms of uh, productivity. So uh, I am looking forward to kind of getting back onto uh, the plan for next week, um, which means getting getting some writing done, getting some editing done. All that fun stuff. I do not like being licked buttons. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we're going to be getting back into the plan of things. And then um, not this coming week, but the following week is the kickoff of Stories on Fire. Where I'll be writing a story a day. Um, and assuming I'm able to get my Monday through Friday streams going again. I'm going to be rushing to finish them in that 90 minute span from 6.30 to 8 each morning. Uh, so we'll see how that goes. Um, but even if I don't finish, I'll, I'll, I'll be working on them in the evening and, and uh, doing what I need to do to get them done. Because you know what? I didn't write enough short stories in January, so this is my opportunity to get a few more done. Um, as far as Dwarf Fortress tonight, uh, this is Everthrow, so I was just playing the first few minutes of uh, the Embark there. Uh, the fort itself is quite mature at this point. Uh, I think it kicked off in the year 509, and um, now I think it's up to like 517 maybe. So we'll see how it goes. And I forgot to actually load it up, so I'm just going to do that real quick. <laughs> so there we go. Um, what else? That might be it. It's been a quiet week as far as writing stuff goes. Uh, I had two stories that I ended up resubmitting. I had a rejection on portals come up. Um, so just waiting for a few more things to come along and hopefully... Hopefully we'll get some acceptances, but we'll see. Yeah, and that's where we're at. So without further ado, let's go. And uh, Lennox, uh, you know, obviously if you don't want to do the uh, sub story, you don't have to. But uh, all you have to do is give me three words, any words, and uh, I will try to incorporate them into a uh, story for you. And I can either do that now or later. All right. So here we are. Normally I have to put a marker in for when I start Dwarf Fort, but I guess I don't have to this time. So here we are in the Wondrous Land, uh, Midsummer of 516, not 517. Everthrow. If you park yourself right next to me on the floor here, Buttons, I'm going to run you over with my chair. Inevitably. You know this, right? Okay. 
So uh, I haven't played in, in a full week, so we'll just go ahead up to the surface and uh, we'll take a look. Uh, so we did move our trading depot up here because we had no direct access for uh, wagons down below. Uh, we actually just built this bridge across up here. Uh, before that I just didn't care about the other side of the the river. Um, and uh, you'll see that there's this little bridge across here. It's because there was a goose that was stuck in the middle of the um, in the middle of the the waterfall here and I was concerned it would freeze to death when the water froze. Uh, so I just built this bridge across, it climbed across, and um, to my knowledge no one has fallen to their doom since then. So uh, at least we saved the goose. Uh, you'll see this little pathway off here. This is for our one of our defense mechanisms. Uh, it's really the only one that we have functional at the moment, so hopefully we don't have any problems beside that. And going down here uh, we still have some temporary shops set up over here. Um, and I see an ad's coming, but I'm just going to go ahead and continue the tour. Um, and, uh, you know, people can catch up. There's nothing nothing going to be going on in the meantime. Uh, so, yeah, this is a temporary area that we were building in. So we still have a carpenter shop and a craft store shop in here. I'll eventually get those cleared out. Uh, we have two gates here or two bridges here. Uh, the second one is actually linked up to this uh, lever, which is a uh, artifact lever, lever, so that people can get good thoughts about it every time they walk by. Um, down here we have a guild for the stone workers. Yep. Uh, this one is for the woodworkers. This is for rangers. This is the uh, mayor's dining hall and office. Uh, up here we have the manager's office. Uh, we have a hospital here. Um, this is the doctor's guild. Yep. Uh, and then we have, um, you know, the hall for those who no longer live with us. Uh, up here we have our uh, main tavern and dining hall, including a little toy stockpile for the kids. Because, you know, every every tavern needs a, a uh, place for toys within the tavern. Um, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then we have uh, two and three story halls, uh, uh, two and three story uh, apartment buildings for our places, for our abattoirs. You still think this is pretty epic? I'm glad you think so. And hi, Tal. How you doing? Flopping onto the couch like you are? Welcome, welcome. Uh, going down, we have... Well, this was originally going to be a, a temporary area for our stone workers, but I've decided they're just going to live here now. Um, which is why I built this open, open air stone workers guild here. Um, we have finally built our... Uh, smithing and uh, um, what is it called glass making uh, down here we have our metal workers guild in here we have a weir moose who has his own craft store shop including his lovely artifact chicken bone pick that uh, he actually carved out a little bit more space for himself you know it seemed fitting um, and actually, I didn't mention this before, but we have three more weir moose that are locked inside uh, our hospital. Um, we have leather working and cloth and farmer's workshops up there. Uh, we have our generic temple in here. And then below it, we have our brand new uh, library, which is uh, already decked out with quite a few things. We've got... Um, yeah, 110 written objects in there. So, oh, emerald, cobalt, and spire. Let me just write that down real quick. I will most definitely write you a sub story. Um, and if I write it when you're not here, Lennox, uh, you'll be able to find it on the sub story uh, collection afterwards. But I'll endeavor to write it while you're here at some point. Uh, 
one month. Sub, and we have emerald, cobalt, spire. All right. Uh, let's see here. Oh, over here you see we have our defense mechanism. It's uh, just a rather large pool of water. And uh, it goes down here. So the idea is from here we, we can close off this gate, open up this gate, have the uh, enemies go down these la uh, stairs, and then we'd flush them out, and we'd open up these bridges, and they would just fall off the edge. Uh, and that's another, I don't know, 15 Z levels to the water below. That's the idea. I haven't actually had to use it yet, so I don't know if it'll end up working, but we'll see. Uh, we have our butcher and tanners down here. We just got some new pigs uh, to go along with our chickens, and why is there a random dwarven wine barrel here? Seems suspect. Uh, we have a brand new craft store shop over here, and actually that means I need to get rid of the craft store shop for the other uh, near the entrance there. We have our Captain of the Guards quarters over here. Uh, and this was originally going to be for our Baron, but our, sadly our Baron died. Um, and our place has been uh, elevated to a county. So I don't know if we'll end up getting a count or not. And that's largely the whole fort. Um, we do have some... We have this magma pump that goes down like uh, 100 some odd Z levels. We have our power uh, for our rather ambitious um, lava pump here as well. I probably should close off this wall just because it's a bit of a danger area. But you need to build your bear in a proper setup. You can barely keep up with your mayor. Yeah. I don't know. I haven't had a trouble keeping up with them so far, anyways. Uh, let's see here. And then going down, yeah, we have a couple of opened up areas for just grabbing some dolomite. We have a couple of tombs down here with artifact caskets and coffins. Um, oh, right. We have our uh, regular. Um, livestock and some farming down here as well as a dwarven child who was one year old when they were bitten by the weir moose um, but they, they stayed put and allowed us to build a wall around them so they're now safely in their little home here um, and this all over here was to capture various uh, forgotten beasts it has not worked well uh, we have successfully uh, had people, uh, if you see this staircase, it just opens up down here. Um, so whenever I lock these doors to prevent people from going and fighting the, the Forgotten Beasts, um, they just jump down. So I should probably fix that. Let's be serious, I should fix that. Um, we have all kinds of uh, old people parts in here, and that's fine. Uh, going down further, 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 we have, um, oh right, we have a miner's guild here, which is huge and unfinished. Uh, this was the bedroom for, well, it was going to be the bedroom for the, the, um, baron, but apparently a wax worker has taken it over. Eh, it's fine. Um, yeah. And then we go all the way down to the magma sea. Oh, we do have an opening into this cavern layer, too. But we're not doing anything in there. And apparently it's being held open by this water. Which is... This is water. And there we are. Uh, we do have some... Fun stuff in here to maybe eventually explore, but... I have traditionally done very poorly at exploring stuff like that, so we're just going to leave it alone for now. We have a petition. Craft Dwarfs want a grand guild hall. Well, I think we can accept that and start right away. 
Where's our craft horse guild? That's the farmer's guild. Ah, here it is. It's just shy of a Grand Guild Hall, actually, already. We have this pedestal with a casket on it. A couple of silver statues in there. I mean, I would love to expand it into this area for our, our uh, bitten craft dwarf, but um, I think he would eat them. Let's go ahead and unpause it and uh, we'll figure out where to put some things in there. A couple of marble statues. So how's everybody's weekend coming along? Reasonably happy dwarves. We haven't really done anything to like specifically make them happier, but they seem to be pretty happy. What are we building at the moment? Limestone toys, because we just had a uh, a person become um, named. Oh, and I can turn on naming too. about to sit down for more work? Well, <laughs> welcome to Monday, Tal. A second only, a second ever necro attack? It brought a literal, ar a literal army this time? Yeah, so that was actually part of the point of this fort, right? So like, we were rebuilding this civilization and we reclaimed crude rooms up here and brought it up to a nice population. Um, there was a dwar Dwarven Tower over here, a Necromancer's Tower here, and we started attacking Spec Menace, but there are so many undead there, um, and like we couldn't kill them fast enough. Uh, but we had no like proper weapons here, so my goal with this fort is to kind of build up a weapon, uh, an arsenal, so that we can actually take them on, and maybe take out some of these other little ones that I hope are little. But we've actually been looting Fang Traded because they have so many books over there. Um, yeah. So that's that's what we're working on at the moment. The Gristly Monster. Hmm. In fact, um, why don't we actually go back over there? See what we can get. We are using uh, some quantum stockpiling in, in these neat areas here. We're actually doing some quantum stockpiling even in here to just kind of clean things up a little. All right. So we're smelting something? Oh, right. We're making steel. We just went from like copper equipment to steel equipment is what we're planning on doing. Uh, so we're up to 121. So how many steel bars do we actually have? Like 80? Oh, 150. Yeah. So let's uh, let's make some steel equipment, huh? Good good job me sending off my military before I've actually equipped them well. Steel helms, steel breastplate, steel uh, mail shirts. I keep on spelling it wrong. Uh, gauntlets. Forgetting helm, breastplate, shirt, gauntlet, low boot, greaves, 
shield. And then we'll do... Short swords, I guess. And we'll just 210 for now. We do have almost 30 military dwarves. So we will need to improve that, but... Just like that, the Grand Guild Hall is satisfied. The mayor has mandated the construction of tables. Does love his tables. We'll make a green glass table. Just one, please. Apparently we're trying to spin thread and we have nothing to spin. Check out the old body parts list. Confirmed. I do not see any... I saw a bunch of shell here. Where is that? Let's make some shell shell bits with that. Yes, that would be nice. Shell crafts. Hey, we're not fishing, so we don't get a whole lot of shell crafts. Uh, Alright, spin thread. Go by. We have a lot of shearable animals, so that's why we were uh, spinning quite a bit. Probably need to thin out this herd a little bit, but or maybe just separate them out a little. And I really should do something about this rather open mess. <laughs> should do something about it, but do I really want? What was that? Just a random goat wandering around. It's fine. This is fine. All right, so what I'm gonna do is really inefficient. Why is there, uh, it's fine. Rhesus macaque is fine. Oh, yay, we have weird moose, yes. All right, so we're gonna go over here. We're gonna dig down. They've already returned. Excellent. Over here. Is that rhesus macaque scaring our animals? Is that what it's doing? Maybe. Hmm. I didn't even notice we have microcline here. It might be fun to get some of that. All right, our military is returned. Let's check out the report. Oh, this is an old one. Yes. So basically, we're just recovering a whole bunch of books from over there. There doesn't seem to be any bad guys there. And I'm just planning on taking them until they stop finding stuff. <clears throat> So yeah, we'll 
we'll send two squads for that. We don't seem to have any miners doing mining things. Their role is chained. What? Oh, you know what? Disorderly conduct, yeah. These poor dwarves, I, I don't end up uh, checking, like interrogating them very often. I just let them do a sentence and, and then I move on. Yeah, whenever their dwarves are leaving, they leave out through the, uh, the third layer of the caverns. It's kind of funny. Finally killed that macaque, I think. Oh. Well, what about the shell that's up here? No? No. Oh, apparently we used it. Okay. Interesting. Okay. Probably should just get rid of this. I don't want people to accidentally use it, you know? And they've already returned. Mysteries of Fang traded, foundations of the fort, captivated by the mountain. Can the dwarf save this world? Victory by the composition, strife monsters, untitled. Uh, the, world, the word the easy way, the interpretation of the fort, the unabridged group, Fang traded further musings, untitled, Fang traded for everyone. Uh, the Great Ton Abbey Vale, victory by scrape wheels. Um... Ozud Virgin Horror Principles in Practice uh, The Fortress, a quandary uh, Reflections on Stasos Trilogin um, The Truth About Storage and Journey to the Author Lovely um, Yeah, let's Still so many listed as being there And hey Free books I didn't know I needed such an extensive library, but you know what? Now that I'm going to have one, I will have one. Uh, it occurs to me... Standing orders... Automatic whip collection. Go ahead. Dwarves, do your worst. Seriously, we're going to start collecting whips. It's fine. So I think once these dwarves actually dig this out, I'm gonna, I suppose actually I could start building it now. So I'll build a floor here out of siltstone block. And we'll build one there. We'll put a wall, a wall, and then we'll wall this. That'll be perfect. Also, I'm inclined to chop all this down, just so it's out of the way.
Wow, we made all that steel stuff really quick. Go figure. I wonder if we're already out of bars. No, we're not. Excellent. Excellent, I say. Alright, we built that, so we can go ahead and build another floor here. <coughs> Dwarves are coming back. And now we can go wall here. Just a minor security issue that I've just never addressed, you know? It's fine. about storage, concerning fang traded, explorations of spec menace. Ooh, I wish I could actually read these books. Uh, secret storage, the settlement, my only mistake, an introduction to the fort about the goblins, an offering to the journey, the book of the fort, the dwarf lyrical, uh, at one with guy's tombs, true mountain halls, the secret wall, the definitive guide, uh, the mountain home in the modern era, the secret of fang traded, uh, principles of the grisly monster, Ooh, I want to know that one, too. Uh, doubts about creation. And finally, they don't say that there's any more books. So, yay. Alright. I am inclined to take a look at some of these other places. So we'll send two, f um, two squads off. Just to raid at the moment. Let's see what happens. All right. So the question is, so we're done making charcoal, but we haven't finished enough pig iron, I think. So we'll just go ahead and add some more charcoal. one and there we finally closed off the thing that um, 
was potentially a big risk to the entire fort. It's fine. I'm going to set this to auto mine. Turn. Let's see, see what happened. Looks like it was a successful adventure. Stole treasure. Uh, cow horn ring, a peach wood splint, an iron warhammer, alpaca wool yarn, iron buckler, trifle pewter bars, uh, applewood chest, two cat leather mittens, a uh, guinea fowl parchment sheet, a steel pick. Steel pick. Uh, iron short sword, iron shield, silver short sword. All right. Well, let's um. Let's plan to do a raise. Though I kind of wanted to. Maybe we'll just pillage and depending on what we see we might conquer and occupy because the goal is to expand the civilization I'd like to extend downward I'm just waiting because we have a ad break at the moment in fact actually while we're in an ad break let me Swap over to this scene real quick. I'm going to make the board on. Emerald, Spire, Strange Thing 77, thanks so much. I mean, I wasn't doing saving, but I suppose, you know, that works. <laughs> uh, Emerald, Cobalt, and Spire, huh? We'll just take a little break and write a quick little sub-story here.
All right. So, Linux. Here you go. Uh, the words today are Emerald, Kobold, and Spire. Rothmanatha, the kobold, ran up the stairs of his of the master's observatory tower, two heavy tomes in his small hands weighing him down. He was out of breath and barely able to keep his eyes focused on the steps ahead, barely shapes in the near darkness of the cold stone, with only a sprig of light barely more than a candle following him nearby. Emeralds! he heard his master call out as he stood at the door at the top of the spire. Rathmanatha opened the door, deposited the books at the threshold, and immediately descended. The master had no patience for waiting, and he clearly needed emeralds next. Dun dun dun! So, uh, Lanix, thanks so much for the support. I forgot to bold my words, so I'm doing that now. And yeah. If you continue your sub, we will do more in the future. And in the meantime, thank you, thank you. All right. Ads are done. So we'll switch back over here. Uh, so yeah, we're going to pillage strife monsters and see what happens. In the meantime, we're digging out some more of this limonite. Found some more gems in here too. And hi, strange thing, how you doing? Hope you're having a lovely night, day, whatever time it is. Lately, do we have enough bedrooms? here. And we have a glass maker taken by a Fey mood. Interesting. Probably you're going to need to make some raw green glass for that, I would imagine. Oh, because you get yourself drunk? Seems to be some miasma in the hallways here. I'm sure it's fine. Apparently there was an argument. Oh, I never disassembled those... I mean, it's fine. Well, you're collecting stuff. I guess it's fine. Um, oops. Nish, what are you doing? <laughs> Just playing in the... the it's fine. I really 
probably should move this armory inside the fort. <laughs> All right, let's let's actually do that. Uh, we're gonna open up this wall and that wall, and we'll build the hallway across, and then we'll. be interesting when we open this bridge the first time if it makes those logs go flying that'll be fun all right they've returned how did our attack go they went there they found nothing. All right, I am sending you off to command to conquer and occupy. Good luck, my dwarves. Um, Alright, someone's going to take care of that body, finally. I suppose I didn't check to make sure that we had enough tombs, but we've got a few. Alright. I also think I want to start thinking about building some um, just some nice flooring looks like we have a trapped rhesus macaque we should train and slaughter to autumn of 516. All right, Pits of Strafe Monsters, Fire to the South has been conquered and incorporated into our holdings. Wonderful. All right. So, first things first, we uh, have some... Oh, it looks like we already trained one of the editing groups you've managed coming in with the hard-hitting questions today. Is your day over yet? Probably not. Sorry to say. 